Good morning, everyone, again. I'm Jessica Martinez, uh, country representative of the Philippines. I'm uh, presenting today the Hindu living traditions in the Philippines. Uh, and I'll give you first the presentation out, out, outline of my um, essay. Uh, first, we'll, I'll be tracing the Hindu influences in the Philippine cultural heritage. Uh, the iconography of Hindu pantheon existing in the Philippines, the Hinduized ancient belief system, Hindu motifs in traditional cultural expressions, and the 20th century Hindu and Indian influences in the Philippines, and conclusion. So uh, here's a map of the Philippines. It consists of about 7,641 islands that are categorized and worldly under three main geographical divisions from north to south, the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Uh, it is bounded by uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It is bounded by the West Philippine Sea on the west and the Philippine Sea on the east and the Celebes Sea on the southwest. And the Philippines shares maritime borders with Taiwan to the north, Vietnam to the west, Palau to the east, and Malaysia and Indonesia to the south. The Philippines is uh, home to 100.98 million widely diverse population, culturally and linguistically scattered in its 7,641 islands. The population is comprised of 92.6% Christians and predominantly Roman Catholics and 5.5 million Muslim, 5.5% uh, Muslim minority, largely concentrated in the southern part of the Philippines called Mindanao and the Sulu Archipelago. Less than 2% follow the Hindu, Buddhist, and folk religions, among others. The Hindu religion, although statistically noted as minority uh, in the Philippine population today, remains culturally embedded in the different aspects of the country and its people. Hindu living traditions in the Philippines are illustrated in various archaeological, historical, linguistic, and ethnographic evidences that form part of the Filipino culture and society today. Hindu living traditions uh, in the Filipino society is relatively more evident in the secular aspect of the Filipino society uh, than in the religious context uh, commonly observed in the Indian United States of Southeast Asian region. For this presentation, uh, I would like to present a review of the tangible and intangible cultural heritage of the Philippines that are akin to the great Hindu traditions and discuss in, the ret in retrospect the active socio-economic relation of the Filipinos with Southeast Asian neighbors prior to the beginning of the colonial period in the country. So Hindu influences in the cultural heritage are noted in various studies in the foundations of Filipino prehistoric society and has identified the early encounters between India and the Southeast Asia as one of the major precursors to the spread of this great tradition in the archipelago. Among these are Juan Francisco, Carl Hotter, Robert Fox, Wilhelm Solheim, and Laura Lee Yonker. These influences are considered among the significant outcomes of the early Filipinos' engagements in international trade beginning in 1000 BCE. Distant and direct um, in particular, this involved distant and indirect cultural contact with India through direct social economic trade contacts with its neighboring Hindu West kingdoms of Srivijaya and Mataram between 12th to 15th century in the Straits of Malacca. According to Juan Francisco, the Filipino specialist on Indian influence in the Philippines, the elements of Indian culture underwent mod modifications initiated by the intermediary sources, the Sumatra and Java, um, before it reached the Philippines through the process of cultural drift or stimulus diffusion. This context of trade route system has been suggested by Francisco to explain the absence of Hindu-associated architectural remains in the Philippines present in Thailand, Cambodia, and Sumatra and Java that are considered as significant markers of prosperity of Indian influence in Southeast Asia. Uh, despite the geographical and political change political challenges caused by the succession of cultural influences via the Muslim traders uh, during the around 13th century 
and, uh, tree, and the European colonialists beginning in the 15th century. Uh, the Philippines uh, and the Hin Indian cultural bearers left notable imprints in the religious iconography, cosmology, and belief systems. These were the outcomes of foreign imports that feature elements of modification and adoption, which has been widely observed as a common characteristic among the Southeast Asian countries, uh, coastal communities. So first, one of the few discoveries of the Hindu-influenced artifacts in the Philippines is the Golden Tara of Agusan. Uh, this image was recovered from the left bank of the Agusan River, River tributary in northern Mindanao after a flood in 1917. Between 8th to 14th centuries, the area surrounding Agusan province or Agusan River was known as the settlement of Putuan Polity, which served as one of the large-scale trading ports of Philippine tributary missions to Chinese courts, including uh, Mindoro, Sulu, and Maguindanao. This reference links many evidences of early cultural contacts between the Philippines and the foreign traders. This golden tara is uh, about 13.6 centimeters, uh, 21 carat gold that weighs four pounds. It was originally identified by William uh, by Bayer as Saiva, and later by Francisco as a Mahayana Buddhist figure from the late 13th or early 14th century CE. Uh, this is considered a sacred heirloom, but there has been no substantial evidence to support its direct relevance to the belief system of the people, of the people from where it was recovered. It, was, it is currently on display at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. Similar to the Golden Tara, the Golden Garuda pendant from the original grave artifacts recovered in Uring Uring, Brooks Point, Palawan, has also been identified as dating between 13th to 14th century CE of Indonesia Majapahit period. This five centimeter pendant engraved with mythical bird Garuda and a sutra or a sacred thread of the initiated Hindu on the chest is associated with Hindu god Vishnu and is a decorative ornament known in, in the Majapahit Java as Kalamankara from the Indian Kirti Mukha or glorious face motif. It is also important to note that these two, the Golden Tara and the Golden Garuda pendant, uh, are two pre-Hispanic golden images, perhaps simply imply the presence of goldsmithing industry before the advent of Western colonization in the Philippines. It is likewise consistent with the term Swarnabhumi, which the Indian tri uh, writers and travelers used to call the Southeast Asia, which means land of gold. There are other two artifacts, which I don't have a, a copy of a photo. The clay medallion, which was found, uh, which was recovered from the National Museum's excavation in Calatagan, Batangas, in, located in southern Luzon dating between uh, uh, late 14th or early 15th century. It is an image of Avalokites Vara Padmapani in Basarif and stands in the classic Indian pose of Tribhanga and holds a Padma in his right hand, which is uh, most likely a local manufacturer of Siam's Padmapani. So we're going next to the uh, Hinduized Asian belief system in the Philippines. Philippine animism is arguably influenced also by the Hindu religion, particularly in cosmology, spiritual and calendaric and morphological aspects. For example, you can see here the Bakunawa. It's a large snake uh, believed in the, certain, in the central Visayan belief system associated with a great serpent or naga that appears in the Sanskrit epic of Mahabharata. But this snake is known as a uh, rich, uh, this snake is a ritual, uh, among the Visayan, a ritual manual or specialist is still consulted to determine the position of, of the back of the snake before constructing a house. The snake, uh, Bakunawa, is uh, described as a snake with a loop tail who occupies the, earth, the sky, the underworld, or the depths of the sea. Uh, another a uh, version of the Naga is found in the southern part of the Philippines 
represented by a mythical serpent uh, known, which is com most commonly used in Ukil or Ukir, the carving motifs found in Maranao, uh, in Maranao, Torogan, which you can see on your on the left side of this photo. Uh, this uh, Torogan is most notably known for its panolong or the carved extended wooden beams. The panolong also carries a piako, a motif like a fern-like design, like the one below, uh, which the position of the naga or the niaga is always considered when installing with its mouth opening to the east. Uh, the naga is also decorates the Maranao and Tausug weapons, such as the handle of Kampilan, a long single single-edged sword, and the uh, double-edged sword uh, called Chris, and also the Sama de Laut of Sulu, of stylized uh, sea dragon occur mo motif applied in the houseboats or lepa, which you can find at the uh, end of the uh, boat to serve as protection from the bad spirits. Some religious concepts of Hindu can also be found in the Philippine languages. For instance, the two known Sanskrit loanwords for deity, Batara and Devata, are translated as Bathala and Diwata for several speakers, a general reference to spirit gods, omens and birds, and idols. Other Sanskrit loanwords within this context include the Tagalog Manusha and Linga as idols in, found in southern, uh, spoken uh, Tagalog in the southern Luzon, Karma, uh, although obsolete uh, now, is, was used in Ilocos in northern Luzon, Agama for religion, Swarga for heaven, Nanaka for hell, and Moxa in Tagalog meaning death. According to Francisco, the Sanskrit element in the Philippine language is the result of assimilation since the introduction between the 10th to 15th centuries as main trade language in Southeast Asia. This did not result to any substantial change in the Philippine languages other than enriching the Philippine vocabulary because the type of Sanskrit language brought to the archipelago appears to be absent of any syntactical or grammatical construction. William Henry Scott, on the other hand, identified a total of 150 terms which originated from Sanskrit. Majority of this is Words show commercial or intellectual in nature and of contact between the Philippines its Indian, and its Indian cultural bearers who were not, according to him, actual speakers of Sanskrit and therefore unproductive of any real Filipino Hinduism. So these are some of the examples of Sanskrit loan words found in the Philippine uh, languages, basa for uh, language or reading in various languages from north to south of the Philippines, Katha and Charita for story, Puri, honor, Galang, uh, praise, Lhasa, sensual pleasure, Champaka, the jasmine flower. Another uh, Indian derivation in the ancient Filipino syllabic writing system uh, is the baibaying, this form of syllabic writing suggests an ancestry with Brahmanic alphabet from the southern India known as Pallava. In this uh, 16th century, baibaying was widely used by the coastal groups of Tagalog, Bisaya, Ilocos, Iloko, Pangasinan, Bicol, and Pampanga. This was eventually replaced by the Roman alphabet, but was retained in the islands of Mindoro, uh, the Buhid Mangyan and the Hanunu Mangyan of um, Mindoro and in the southern, Fil southern Luzon part of the Philippines and Palawan, who are the Pala Palawan and Tagbanua uh, indigenous groups, which they practice until today. Um, the photo on your right is the Ambahan, the traditional poetry of Hanunu Mangyan of Oriental Mindoro, written on a bamboo, which is uh, actually a form of poet um, written by the Hanunu Umangyans as a form of uh, entertainment and during their uh, communal celebrations. 
Another example is the Laguna copper plate inscription. This thin copper plate has 10 lines of small script characters that are impressed on one side. This rare artifact was studied by Dr. Anton Postma and Dr. Johan C. Kasparis. According to them, the main language of the copper plate is Old Malay, but the text is sprinkled with Sanskrit and Old Javanese and Tagalog terms. This was found in Laguna, in, located in southern Luzon, dating between, uh, which is dated uh, around 900 CE. This is the Kalatagan pot, sorry. This pot, this Kalatagan pot, I just. This pot was discovered in 1961, believed to be a ritual pot, particularly used as a native incense burner for the Panguli or ret return rite to retrieve the soul of Maribond person during the pre-Hispanic era. This was found in Calatagan, Batangas, located in southern Luzon of the Philippines. Next is the Butuan paleograph found among the burial coffins in Butuan, located still a uh, real until deciphered. It, present, it presents 22 units of writing on silver strips similar to a Javanese script that had been in the news for the 12th to 15th centuries CE. The characters display a Hindu Buddhist influence probably the earliest in the Philippines. Another uh, part of the cultural uh, motifs of Hindu in the Philippine indigenous communities is embedded in the great traditions uh, mentioned earlier. Another is, for instance, the Ramayana epic is most famous in the Maranao oral traditions of Darangan and Darangan and the Maharadi Alawana. First, the Darangan consists of 17 cycles, a total of 72,000 lines, telling the stories of heroes as well as episodes of Maranao history in tackling the immortal themes of life, death, courtship, and politics of love. The next one is the Maharadiya Lawana, which tells the story of Rama and Radiya Mangandiri and Sita as Tuan Potre Malano, tayo corresponding with the five kanda or songs or chapters of the Ramayana. These are all practiced by the Maranao of the southern Philippines. And another one is the Sinkil. Portions of the Ramayana is also inter interpreted in this uh, traditional dance. If I may give you examples. There's no audio. No audio. So this supposed to have a sound, but I don't know. It's not on speaker. Can you hear? Anyway, um, this sinkil refers to the hurling step as well as the heavy brass leglets found on bells worn by the dancers while stepping in and out of the between the bamboo pole cloppers. The performance involves hand swaying and body movements portraying Princess Gandingan and her company Sojourn in the forest, which are reminiscent of Hindu style dancing. You can view it later if you want. So I have um, other examples of uh, Hindu influences are found in the musical ensembles of the Philippines, you know, uh, such as the Kujapi, uh, a Sanskrit word coming from Kachapi, and the Gangsa from the Sanskrit word Gamsa. Another one, uh, two other uh, forms of Hindu influence are the, on Philippine textiles. First is the malong apata, apatola or andon, 
Amara now double ikat pattern and threads associated with the proliferation of Indian textiles or patola or silk in the Southeast Asian market from the 15th and 16th centuries until the Second World War. Another one is the pisyabit, which is uh, used as a, either a head cover draped over the shoulder. This particular piece is woven using this continuous supplementary weft in tapestry weave. The piece pattern derived from the Indian mandala illustrates a spiritual dimension, geometric for, geometrical forms radiate symmetrically from a central square. So this is uh, the Harta Sawabi, the Harta Sawabi, a national living treasure of the Philippines, who's a Tausug textile weaver from Parang Suluwa, an acknowledged expert in weaving the Tausug headpiece, Pisyabit, who was confirmed in 2004. Today, many Hindu-related concepts and philosophies is gradually being reintroduced in the Filipino society by the increasing number of Indian migrants in the country, from culinary to dietary preferences, and from healing to meditation practices. According to Philippine India Business Guidebook and Bureau of Immigration Report, there is a total of 63,000 Indians in the Philippines composed of businessmen, traders, IT professionals, and students following the first arrival of Sindhis and Punjabis in the late 19th century to early 20th century. The groups of early migrants started some of the established Indian influences, popularly known as from the microfinancing scheme in enterprises uh, and, and other wholesale business enterprises. These commercial ventures later spilled over in food businesses, most notably in the establishment of the oldest fine dining Indian restaurant in Manila in 1974, called Kashmir. And in addition to this, they were also able to build the first Gurudwaras, or Sikh temple of the Punjabis, as early as 1929, and a Hindu temple in 1980 located in Mahatma Gandhi Street in Paco, Manila. So these are the photos of the three uh, Hindu temples located in Manila, the capital of the Philippines, located in Luzon. According to uh, Geoffrey Santarita's observation, there are more than 20 guardaras throughout the country that serve as a de facto Indian food shops, as langar or open kitchen to its members and destitute, as, and destitute and function halls for all socialized and solemnized activities like wedding, betrothals, baptismal ceremonies, and others. Yeah, so in conclusion, the extent of adaptations and interpretations of the Philippine aspects of Hindu traditions signify the achievements of Filipino ancestors who left lasting impression worthy to be celebrated by their descendants from generations to generations. These influences that are engraved in the facets of Philippine history and culture, through med though meditated, brief, and dispersed, also illustrate the critical role of the early Filipinos as a key player in the formation and development of the Southeast Asian region. Maraming salamat po sa pakikinig. Thank you very much, Jessica.